I had 40 years ago with my dad. John Manchin owned a furniture store in Farmington, West Virginia, a small coal mining town of hardworking people. And one day our local state representative came in and asked dad for a favor, saying, you owe me for all the things I've done for your little town. When the man left, I turned to my dad and said, now wait a minute, isn't helping Farmington that man's job? That moment defined the difference between self-service and public service. When I told my dad that I was going to run for office, he said, oh, Joe, politics is a bad business. I'm telling you right now, stay out of it. I didn't disagree that often with my father, but that time I did. I reminded him of the famous line from President John F. Kennedy's inaugural address. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I was 13 when I first heard it, and I'm still inspired today by it. My family were devoted Catholics who immigrated from Italy and Czechoslovakia. So to us, President Kennedy was held in the highest regard, and I knew President Kennedy's words would sway my dad. It took him about a minute, but my dad said that he would support me running if I made a vow to serve all the people, friend or foe, and not just myself. That promise made to my dad all those years ago has been my guiding light. I've never cared about where good ideas came from, and I never blame one side for creating a problem, nor believe that only one side could fix them. When America is at her best, we get things done by putting country before party, working across the aisle and finding common ground. Many times this approach has landed me in hot water, but the fight to unite has been well worth it. Today, West Virginia is attracting more investment, opportunity and jobs than it has in decades. Here at home and across the country, we are building more roads, bridges, manufacturing plants, and energy infrastructure than almost any time in America's history. After months of deliberation and long conversation with my family, I believe in my heart of hearts that I have accomplished what I set out to do for West Virginia. I have made one of the toughest decisions of my life and decided that I will not be running for re-election to the United States Senate. But what I will be doing is traveling the country and speaking out to see if there is an interest in creating a movement to mobilize the middle and bring Americans together. To the West Virginians who have put their trust in me and fought side by side to make our state better, it has been my honor of my life to serve you. Thank you. Every incentive in Washington is designed to make our politics extreme. The growing divide between Democrats and Republicans is paralyzing Congress and worsening our nation's problems. The majority of Americans are just plain worn out. Our economy is not working for many Americans, from the rising cost of food and fuel and everything in between. We have a border crisis with illegal drugs entering our country and killing Americans every day. Our national debt is out of control and Americans don't feel safe, even in their own communities. We are providing critical aid to two of our allies, fighting wars for their survival and we must prevent being pulled into a major war ourselves. These are not Republican or Democratic challenges. These are American challenges. They affect every one of us, and we need to face them together. I know our country isn't as divided as Washington wants us to believe. We share common values of family, freedom, democracy, dignity, and a belief that together we can overcome any challenge. We need to take back America and not let this divisive Hatred further pulls us apart. Public service has and continues to drive me every day. That is the vow that I made to my father over 40 years ago, and I intend to keep that vow until my dying day. May God bless America, the great state of West Virginia, and each and every one of you.